Good evening, I'm Lindsay Wright. A new look at drug use among teens finds some encouraging data. The annual Monitoring the Future study tracks trends for 8th, 10th, and 12th graders. Overall, illegal drug use is down, including opioids. Officials say, in part, better messaging has helped. Some concerns remain for researchers, notably the rates of teen vaping. Monroe County officials are still waiting on a request for certification from a company hoping to open a waste transfer facility on the west side of Bloomington. Mark Napier lives near the proposed site. He says he's concerned about the lack of information. I think we're all feeling like we're in limbo um, and it's stressful. And it's stressful for us and from talking to some of the folks on this board, it's stressful for you. The company, Indiana Green, needs county certification before it can receive state approval for the facility. Another opponent of Indiana Green has hired an attorney to appeal the zoning of the property. That appeal is scheduled for February. Indiana Congresswoman Jackie Walorski introduced a bill this week that would suspend the medical device tax for another five years. The 2.3 percent levy on the revenue of medical device manufacturers went into effect with the Affordable Care Act. The Congressional Research Service says companies paid about $2.4 billion in 2014. Congress passed a two-year suspension of that tax in 2015, but it's set to expire at the end of the year. Walorsi's bill would extend the suspension through 2022. Now for a quick look at the forecast tonight, partly cloudy, low of 27. Looking into the five-day forecast, sunny to start off the weekend tomorrow, high of 49, chance of showers on Sunday. More news is online and stick around. Indiana News Desk starts right now.